guys, it's Anna and welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous looking chocolate caramel tart. Now if you are into your chocolate and caramel, this video is right up your street. Now this recipe might look a bit hard for you, some of you guys, but trust me, it's the most easy thing you will ever do. So if you're interested in knowing how to make this recipe, just keep on watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! To make your sweet pastry tart, in a large bowl, mix together your flour and sugar until they are well combined. Incorporate the butter to the flour mixture using a fork or even a food processor. Now work the flour and the butter in until you form crumbs. Add the egg and mix them in. Then you can add your water and then knead the dough until it forms a nice and smooth ball. Flour it slightly, don't work the pastry too much at this stage or it will become elastic and chewy, not crumbly and soft. Flour your work surface and place the dough on top and then knead the dough until it forms a nice and smooth ball. Wrap in clean film and refrigerate for 30 minutes. On a floured surface, lift up the rolled dough and place on the surface and then using a rolling pin Roll out your pastry until nice and thin. When your pastry is nicely rolled out, lift your pastry onto your tart case and then remove the excess dough from around the edges. When the pastry is nicely fitted on your tart case, refrigerate for a further 30 minutes before baking. When the pastry is nicely chilled, line a parchment paper over the dough and filled with dry beans or rice to weigh the pastry down. Bake for 15 minutes in a preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius. Then remove the weight and parchment paper and then egg wash your pastry and then return back to the oven for a further 15 minutes. Then allow to cool and remove from your tart pan. To prepare your caramel, place the sugar and water in a medium heavy bottom pan over medium heat and cook without stirring until sugar dissolves and gets a caramel color. When the caramel reaches a dark and deep color, quickly add your cream and stir constantly to melt the sugar and the cream together. Then leave it on the heat for a further five minutes to melt all the ingredients together. Now after 5 minutes remove from the heat and then pour your caramel straight away onto your tart case and then put it in the fridge for half an hour to set the caramel. After half an hour remove from the fridge and then start making your chocolate ganache. Now to prepare your chocolate ganache heat the cream in a small saucepan and when the cream just begins to boil at the edges, remove from the heat and pour over the chopped chocolate. Let's sit for one minute then stir until smooth. Pour the chocolate ganache over the caramel, spread it evenly and refrigerate for another two hours before serving. Sprinkle with sea salt flakes and serve. 
and that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video because i loved making it if you love how it turned out give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't and i will see you in my next video bye guys and have a great day